solar panels bring lots of benefits. They help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. They can save homeowners and businesses money. And they're getting smaller and more affordable. Solar panels have dramatically come down in cost over the last 10 years. And so that's enabled a lot of homeowners and businesses to install it to reduce their utility bills and carbon footprint. And this has also meant an influx of solar panels in the marketplace. And they are meant to last for over 25 years with very little maintenance. And because of this long-term investment that people have, there's been very little thought or effort uh, or planning into how these solar panels will be processed at the end of their useful life and properly recycled. But solar panels don't last forever. With many panels reaching their end of life, what happens when a homeowner needs to dispose of broken or unwanted solar panels? To solve this growing issue, the California Product Stewardship Council, in partnership with CalRecycle, launched a pilot program for solar panel recycling in the city of Santa Monica. That's why I'm really excited to have just received this $50,000 grant from CalRecycle to pilot a first in the state solar panel recycling program. And so we partnered with the California Product Stewardship Council and they really took the lead on bringing together the right people, interviewing solar owners, solar installers, finding certified recycling companies and creating a system where we could pick up unused solar panels from people's homes or businesses the grant funds were used to survey both solar owners and solar customers to understand the immediate need for solar panel recycling. And once we determined there was stockpiles of unused or broken solar panels within the community, we knew we had to act. In the solar panel recycling pilot, we worked with the California Conservation Corps to handle the pickups of panels from the location. So we offered door-to-door -door service. We didn't want to have homeowners worry about the stress of handling large, heavy solar panels. So the California Conservation Corps, which is a group of young people who want to work in the sustainability industry, and the California Conservation Corps gives them an avenue to do that. They brought the panels to our city yards where they were properly stacked and palletized. And then we worked with a company called CalMicro, who's a local e-waste company, to pick up the panels from our city yards and safely transport them to their facility where the solar panels are disassembled and broken apart into various pieces for proper recycling. Our organization is CalMicro Recycling. We recycle electronics, mattresses, and solar panels. And our mission is overall to make a cleaner and safer environment for future generations to come. You kind of got to think about what you're leaving behind. And I think that's our overall mission is to leave a cleaner environment for everyone behind us. What we want to do is take the solar panels, process them, and divert all the residuals properly and responsibly to the appropriate recycling chain. Once the solar panels arrive at CalMicro, they're broken down into their individual components for proper recycling. Solar panels are primarily made of valuable components and pieces aluminum, glass, silicon wafers. And then on the back side of the panel, there's substrate and there's also trace amounts of metals such as silver, copper, and some panels have lead. So it's really important that the solar panels be recycled at a proper facility. Some of the challenges with this pilot program were understanding the regulations on how solar panels should be properly recycled. Solar panels used to be considered hazardous waste, so this caused barriers and added costs that we couldn't afford with the limited pilot budget. So we're really thankful that the California EPA and DTSC reclassified solar panels as universal waste, because that really brought down the cost and regulations associated with recycling solar panels. There are many options for residents and businesses if they have unwanted panels. If the panels are broken or no longer working, find a registered recycler on the DTSC website or contact your local county to see if they accept solar panels. If the solar panels are still functional, there are local reuse options. We also provided an avenue for unused panels that were still in working order to donate them to the local Habitat for Humanity Restore, where they could be potentially used or sold to other communities. And there are millions of solar panels in the state of California alone that are maybe halfway through their life. And so maybe they have another 10 years of generation left. 
but that 10 years is going to fly by. And if we don't have the infrastructure in place to properly handle and recycle these solar panels, I think that could be devastating. In California alone, there are about 1.4 million homes with solar panels, and there are thousands and thousands of solar panels installed in the desert for utility scale solar projects. And although they have a long lifespan, it's really important for leaders in our state and the country and around the world to think about what happens with solar panels at the end of the useful life. Solar panels are regarded as a sustainability measure. We're reducing emissions, we're producing clean electricity, but it wouldn't be responsible for a society to take these solar panels and dump them in the landfill. For the city of Santa Monica, we help recycle 8,200 pounds. As for our company as a whole, in 2021, we recycle approximately 150,000 pounds. And so we do expect that to increase this year. The solar panel recycling pilot is coming to a close here in early 2022. And over the last three months, we've collected over 280 solar panels that we diverted from landfill. So we're really proud of that. I think it's a great program and I'm hoping more cities will kind of look at this and maybe try it for themselves because it's great to offer to the community. Without recycling the PV modules, the entire thing would go to a hazardous waste landfill and story ends there for the next thousand years. We're starting to see bigger numbers come in since the beginning of the year, and we expect millions of pounds to be needed to be recycled, so we expect a very big wave. I think properly preparing for solar panels at the end of their useful life plays into the larger picture of sustainability in California because solar panels have provided such benefit over their useful life, and putting them in the landfill or not properly disposing them would be a terrible end to their wonderful story. And here in California and Santa Monica specifically, we're striving to be a zero waste city, meaning we want to divert as much as we can from landfills. And so providing a, an avenue for solar panels and electronics in general to be properly recycled is a really, it's a key component to that goal. In Santa Monica alone, there are over 4,000 solar panels that were installed more than 10 years ago. So I think it's really important for the recycling industry to plan for an influx of demand that will be coming within the next five or 10 years. With all the new panels being installed in new households, as well as the plethora of solar panels that were installed in the past 20, even 30 years, um, we're starting to see a lot of these old panels show up as this grows. So we have started this new process of handling solar panels so that we get ahead of the curve. That actually makes me feel great. Like, you know what I mean? I'm building something for my kids, showing them that recycling is important. You know, before I got into this industry, I never really knew how big recycling was. And now it's probably one of the most important things I do. Cause you know what? Everyone does have to do their part. And I'm all about a cleaner environment. And so I feel like I kind of do my part and that actually helps me sleep good at night.